hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and today i am so delighted to be sharing with you guys how i made my african print off shoulder top so if you'd like to see how i made this top just keep on watching so as usual i usually leave all the materials that i will have used in the description box also check in for dimensions and stuff so I had one meter of fabric which I cut in half so the end result was one meter by 50 centimeters wide fabric and then I laid a top that I already had an off shoulder top onto my fabric and then I traced the shape using a piece of chalk and then I just cut the shape out and I also made sure to leave a seam allowance and then I pinned the edges together and at this point the vivid sides were both facing outwards because I planned on doing inverted seams on both edges And then I was done sewing there and then I turned it inside out of you, dripping light, paint the sky. and then I ironed it and then I pinned it again and sewed it again Only So that was the same when it was done and then I now turned my little top inside out again then this time I started folding the edges of the armholes inwards I folded them two times and then I ironed to prepare them for hemming so alive, make it last for And then I went on and hemmed and this was the result. And then now I folded the bottom inwards and hemmed the bottom And I was going to insert an elastic through this so I also made sure 
that it was enough to put an elastic inwards. Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds of breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight. So that is the space that I left at the bottom, and I also left a space where I was going to use to insert the elastic. And then this is the other half of the fabric that I had, the other half. And I folded it two times and cut it into four equal strips. For each of the strips, I hemmed them all on one side and like always, I first iron before I hem because it helps me when I'm sewing. I wanted the little strips to have sort of like a layering effect and I laid one on top of the other and I made sure that they had a separation of about one inch and I just started measuring that one inch and pinning as I went along. Oh, it was actually two inches. No, it was two inches. Yeah, two inches. There we go, and then when I was done, I sewed on top to join the fabric strips. And when they were both hemmed, I took two of them, the right side facing inwards, and then I just sewed on the edges. Now I attached it onto the little top that I had made and I made sure that it was right in the middle and then I attached it using pins and then at this point I only sewed from the part where the armpit starts to the part where the armpit ends. Open eye the waves cut through then there I was done sewing hypnotized by the sounds of breathing and hold tight hold tight can't make calls collide hold tight hold tight hold tight dripping light 
and then I now folded it again inwards making sure that I made sure that I was leaving a space which was enough to put my elastic in And I also left a space which I was going to use to insert the elastic. After stitching, I now inserted the elastic using a safety pin. And then I joined the elastic and I also made sure that I was going to sew that space which I had left open. And then I also inserted the smaller elastic at the bottom. And then I sold the elastic together and I also sold the space shut. And that was the end. And then the last thing that I did that I did not show in this video is I decided to add strips later to add some straps onto the top. <laughs> which is totally optional and so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you also saw the video of the skirt if you haven't please do check it out and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye